What's up guys, this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal, back for some more talk on some aluminum. Whew. Changing it up today, guys. So, the last six months or so, we've been seriously discussing iron and nickel alloys. So, we decided it might be time to lighten it up a little. I'll be here all week. So, today we're going to talk about some aluminum, as they say in the good old proper Queen's English. As we like to say, aluminum. Aluminum weighs about 0.1 pound per cubic inch, while iron is almost three times as much. Aluminum has even more going for it, corrosion resistant in many environments, and also pretty easy to fabricate. If you look around, you can probably identify something made with aluminum. And so, what do we got here? Let me see. We got this. All right. This is an aluminum flat bar, okay? You guys probably don't have an aluminum flat bar laying around. But hey, maybe you guys have an aluminum round bar hanging around. If not, well, you might have a can of soda or pop, as we call it here. Uh, you might have anything. You know, hey, here's a water bottle. That's caps aluminum. You know, you got a mobile phone. There's components in there that are made from aluminum. What else is made from aluminum? Ah, computer parts, cookware, automotive parts. Ooh, those fancy wheels. Those are cool. All right, office window frames, you know, and a whole lot of airplane overhead. Rod alloys are designated by a four-digit numerical code where the first digit indicates the major alloying element. Designations are assigned by the Aluminum Association, which is an industry-wide trade organization. 1000 series are aluminum with a minimum of 99.0 purity. The last two digits represent the minimum additional purity above 99%. For example, 1100 is 99.00 minimum, 99.00% minimum aluminum. 1145 would be 99.45% minimum aluminum. In other series, these last two digits only identify the alloy without any particular meaning. 2000 series alloys have copper as the major alloying element. 2024 is a good example of 2000 series. 3000 series alloys have manganese as the major element. 4000 series have silicon as the major element. 5000 have magnesium as the major element. 6,000 have both magnesium and silicon as the major elements. 6061 would be a good example of the 6,000 series. 7,000 series, well, that's zinc as the major element. 7050 and 7075 are good examples of the 7,000 series. The 8,000 series alloys have other elements as the major addition. And now we can talk about other letters that come in the form of suffixes. And so a suffix letter indicates a modification of the chemical composition. In addition to the alloy designation, a hyphen followed by an alphanumeric sequence defines the temper. The dash F indicates as fabricated, the natural result of normal mill production with no special control of thermal conditions or any strain hardening. Dash O indicates annealed, the lowest strength temper. That's dead soft. Dash H indicates a strain hardened condition. Additional digits define the temper of any supplementary thermal treatment that has been applied. Dash W indicates solution treated, an unstable temper not common to commercial alloys. Dash T indicates heat treated to stable tempers. Additional digits indicate temper or any supplementary strain hardening. Now in later videos, we will go into some more detail on specific alloys and applicable tempers. And so next week, I'm taking a break, all right? And so I will see you on April Fool's Day. And that's not a joke, I'm serious. So see you April 1st. If you haven't subscribed already and you made it this far, just click here and help me out. Thank you subscribe. If you've missed any of the previous videos, right here. Appreciate you guys tuning in. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I will see you guys in two weeks. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Stay healthy.